Hi boys and girls, welcome back to our Letterland mini lesson. This week we're going to be learning about a new Letterland character. We're actually going to be learning about two new robot vowel stealers in Letterland. And we're going to start with this robot stealer first. But remember, we've already talked about two other robot stealers who are Arthur R and Orville Orr. But there is something that makes these two robot stealers we're going to be learning about even trickier than the first two. Now, this robot's name right here, the IR, this is Irving Err. He likes to steal ink bottles or he likes to steal, steal MB ink as you can see. And he likes to trick us into saying empty ink's sound. But we have to be good detectives and say Irving Err's last name instead when we see empty ink behind Irving Err's back like this. So instead of saying empty ink's not sound, we're going to call out that robot and say Err for Irving Err. Okay? Now, there are some words that might you might be able to find that would go along with this letterland word pattern. And those words, one of them is the word b, er, d, bird. There's that Irving Ers in the middle. So I have to call that robot out because he's trying to steal MP ink. So b, er, d, bird. And another example we have. G, girl, girl, and we have f, er, st, first, and we have this one's really big where it's a little tricky. So we're gonna separate all the sounds. F, er, st, e, thirsty. That's a really big word. So for Irving Err, in my word sort, I had bird, girl, first, and thirsty. And we're all calling out that Irving Err robot because we see him in those words. Now, there's one other robot that we're going to learn about today that is also a vowel stealer. And that is this Letterland robot. And his name, he's really tricky. He's even trickier than the other ones. So this is Urgent Err. He is Irving Err's robot brother. So we're going to say his name three times so we remember it. Urgent Err. Urgent Err. Urgent Err. Okay. He's really tricky because he likes to steal umbrellas because you can see uppy umbrella that he has captured. Now, when when he steals an umbrella, he says his last name, Err, which sounds just like Irving Err's last name, but they don't spell it the same way. So the tricky part is when we write a word, we have to remember whether it's spelled with a U-R or an I-R. But when we are reading a word with a U-R, we always say Urgent Err's last name. Err, Err, Err. And some of the words that would fall under that category might be Err, T, Hurt. So I'm saying Urgent Err's sound because I, I see him in the middle. Err, T, Hurt. I also have B, er, n, burn. And I have n, er, s, nurse. It's a silent E at the end. And this one's really a little bit tricky. K, er, lee, curly. Okay, so those are the words that I had in my word cert for urgent er and for Irving Err. So this week and next week, we're going to be practicing these two robot stealers. So I really want you to be paying attention in maybe books that you read, 
that you can find urgent er or Irving er and see if you can listen to the words as you say them and find out which category or where you would sort them if you were doing a word sort. You have activities on Seesaw that you can also do as well. And remember when you're doing your word sort, you're also going to have a mystery category or the question mark category. That just means words that wouldn't typically fit into our word sort that we're doing for this week and next week. So for this week and next week, we're going to be practicing this, these two sneaky vowel robot stealers. So I want you to be practicing those and we'll learn a new word pattern a little bit later. All right. I hope you guys have fun and do the very best you can. I'll be looking forward to seeing your seesaw activities. Bye.